In this video, I'll be decluttering my closet in preparation for my concealed carry capsule wardrobe. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I help women learn to conceal carry with confidence and style. It's difficult to clean out your closet before you put together your capsule wardrobe, but my situation was a little different. I put mine together in December as I was writing an article for Concealed Carry Magazine. I'll link the article below. As you can see, I've been keeping my capsule right there, but it is past time to clean out my closet and I'm ready to have the benefits of a decluttered closet. All right, first of all, is the piece still flattering? Does it still fit? Are there any rips or tears? Is it wearing out? Well, anything like that. The second question I'm going to ask is, does it work for concealed carry? So if it's something that just absolutely doesn't work, it's gotta go. The third question is, have I worn it within the last year? Now, 2020 was a little different and I wasn't going out quite as much. So I might change this question to have I worn it within the past two years. My main goals with this capsule wardrobe are to have a way to conceal carry with every outfit, declutter my closet, and simplify the time that it takes to get ready in the morning. All right, let's get started. So this is my capsule right here. As you can see, I'm using a pull-up bar to hold some of my clothes. But it's time to take all of these down and put them on the bed. Okay, so now you can see what I'm working with in the closet. I used to be very organized, and let me tell you, life has just been happening, and we've gotten unorganized. We just need a little freshening up here. So most of the stuff is out of the closet. I just vacuum the carpet and next I'm going to go through each item and put the items I want to keep back in. Okay, I got through my first pile of hangers and to give you some examples of what I'm getting rid of, I'm going to show you some, some items. This bodysuit I bought with good hopes. As you can see, the tag is still on it and I've never worn this. Also, I could make this work for concealed carry, but I haven't so far and I just don't think I'm going to. Okay, another top that I bought and only wore a couple times, I just, don't reach for this, so it's going. This is for winter. I don't know that it's really my color. It's getting stretched out. I just haven't worn it, so it's going. Here are two of the same sweater in different colors. I thought that I loved it, but this makes me, this shape is not that flattering on me. I don't know why I got it in two colors. Second of all, I hardly ever wear red, so it's going. Okay, and some others that are going too. Here's some examples of things I'm keeping. Um, this long sleeve t-shirt from Loft has some great texture and that can distract the eye from any printing. Um, a peplum top, also from Loft. Uh, very flowy, conceals well. And then I've got some heavy layering pieces, some very soft poncho-like pieces. These are all for the colder months. Um, they do work very well for concealing, so I'm going to keep these. Here are some more pieces that did not work out. This pair of jeans, they have shrunk in the wash and they aren't a great fit anymore. So they're going. Um, when I bought this blouse, I bought it online and it's not the color that I thought it was going to be. Also, it's kind of cheaply made and the button started breaking, so I didn't end up wearing this as much as I thought I would, so it's going. Another blouse that I didn't end up wearing, so it's going. Okay, this one makes me laugh a little bit. I bought this leather jacket from The Limited several years ago and I was so excited to get it. I thought it was so cool, but every time I tried to put it on, it just didn't feel like me. I am just not a leather girl. And I thought that I could mix it with like something lace, something feminine, but it's just not me. So it's going. 
Here's an example of a great concealed carry piece. This top, if you can see the texture, it's a thick cotton material. It has some texture to it because it's kind of bubbling and it has a pattern, the stripes. So this really conceals my firearm well. Here's an example of a maybe piece. I probably will keep this. It's a tank top from Loft that I got and I like that it has this it has two types of material, a cotton material on top and then this slightly shinier peplum on bottom. And that peplum material, that is what really conceals the firearm well. So the reason it's a maybe is it's starting to get a little older and the material is pilling a little bit, but I think it still has some wear left in it. I got about half the bed cleared off yesterday before I had to leave and be somewhere. So today it's time to tackle the rest of the pile. This is a little organization tip I've been using. I put a tag on the hanger that I hang my jeans on and it has, for example, this one says the brand, Dark Alley Denim, the size that it is, the fact that it's a high rise and a straight leg. So I'll put notes about the different jeans on here depending on how they fit. For example, like some jeans, I write on there, this is best with a high heel, or maybe it's better with a belly band versus a belt and a kydex holster. It just depends, but I put the notes on there. Here's another example, loose around the waist. So if I wanted to wear a kydex holster without a belt, um, say it had a, a fabric clip or something, this would not be the pair of jeans that I would choose. It's too loose around the waist. Um, and I wrote try with a belt and a holster. These two sleeveless sweaters are really nice tops um, from Ann Taylor and Loft. They're very hard to conceal with because they're such a fine knit and they're very tight fitting. But I don't know that I'm ready to get rid of them, so I'm going to keep this as a maybe pile. And this might be a section in my closet where I'm keeping items that might have one thing wrong with them, but I still might have a situation where I want to wear them. This top, I like how it looks on, but it's not comfortable. There's something about the neckline and the way it fits around the waist. Also, it doesn't conceal very well for my firearm. So this one probably needs to go. It's hard to let this one go, but it probably needs to go. All right, and we're down to the capsule. I know I can put these in the closet. So this is the pile of no items so far. We've got some sweaters that I'm going to keep, but they need to get put into storage. We've got a couple maybes down here. Oh, next, we're gonna have to go through shoes, purses, and accessories. And here are the clothes that I decided to keep. So now I need to go through here and start organizing them into the different sections of the closet. Ah, uh, one of my tags just came off. Like I said, there's probably a better way to do this, but this is just what I had. If any of you know of a better tag system, tell me in the comments. look through my purses and see if there's any that I can part with or if I want to keep them all. I love purses and in fact I've accumulated quite a few concealed carry purses over the years. Okay so I went through all my purses and I made a pile that I'm getting rid of and I put the ones I'm keeping back in my closet. Uh, like I said I just have accumulated way too many so it's time to tailor down. Um, five of the bags that I'm get, getting rid of are concealed carry purses. So um, it gave me an idea. Would you guys be interested in a giveaway for five of these concealed carry purses? Or at least like some of them. Um, I have used these bags, but they might as well go to someone who can use them. So uh, let me know in the comment section if you would be interested in a giveaway, which would probably be on my Instagram account. 
All right, let's tackle these shoes. All right, it's a new day and I'm back at it. After I organized the shoes, I ended up taking a break and I went to the store and got some different organizing containers to finish the rest of the closet. So I've been through all the categories in my closet except for holsters, which is in this pile right here. But I'm probably going to save that for another day. Um, let me know if you want to see a video on that. But it's time for the big reveal. Oh, I'm so excited. Here it is. All right, let's start with the most important first. These are my capsule wardrobe items. Um, if there's an empty hanger, that means that an item is probably in the wash. I've got my clothing, I've got my thigh holster, and then here is one of the purses, some jewelry, um, the scarves that I originally planned to be in the capsule, space for extra hangers, up top I have my winter storage, so those are mostly sweaters. And then also in those pink bins I've got some winter items and scarves. Got a pair of boots right there, a sun hat up top, and then a few shoe boxes. Over here I have all my athletic um, coats and sweaters. Then I've got shoes. Looks like mostly heels. Down there I have a box for all of my bags, so book bags, overnight bags, um, a duffel bag. Alright, so here are all my other clothes that are not in the capsule, but I can go shopping in this area of my closet um, whenever I need something extra. And here is where I'll be drawing my other capsules from, um, so summer, fall, and winter. Future capsules. Okay, I've got my range bag and I've got my baskets full of holsters that I use most. Um, the holsters that are in my bedroom are the ones I don't use quite as much and I'll be um, looking through those on another day. This is my favorite part. I just love these little shoe boxes. And these are all my favorite heels. So it just opens in the front and you can get your shoe. The pair that goes here is the pair I'm wearing right now. Up top I have a little container for all of my fancy clutches. Sun hat. There is my overnight bag with all of my uh, makeup, face wash. Um, they're all extras and if I need to go somewhere quickly, I can just grab that and be ready. Right here, I've got a bin for all my towels and extra sheets. I have a few purses on display. And then down here in that box, I've got purses. Um, there's my Premier Body Armor um, purse insert. And then I have these little hangers here that I hung up different purses right here. I've got my suitcase right there, my range hat, all my belts, and then a bunch of extra hangers. Right here I've organized my jeans based on their type. So each pink hanger is a divider. So the ones in between here are all capris and then from here on are leggings. From here on are high-rise mid uh, dress pants and then mid-rise. All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys found this either entertaining or helpful. Um, my goal is to keep this closet as organized as possible, and I'm already enjoying my capsule wardrobe. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for more capsule content, and you can also find my blog at elegantandarm.com, and also on Instagram and Facebook. So make sure to subscribe if you're interested and don't want to miss any content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.